Erica confronts Nengi because of Kid Wire. Like, I don't get what is really wrong with Erica, but whatever it is, we are going to actually find out. Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Vicky, and if you're seeing me for the very first time, hi! Please do well to hit on the red subscribe button by your right hand side and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will inform you whenever I post a new video. And please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section. I really, really love to read your input in the whole of this saga that has been happening. And please, guys, follow me or subscribe to my other channel. No be only a pro I sabi do. No be only a meba I sabi do. No be only this talk talk I sabi do. I sabi do other things. And for that channel, I did show you guys other things when I sabi do. There, I upload videos on lifestyle family vlogs and every other thing in, in between it's really an interesting channel there please get your girl to 1000 subscriber the link is always in the description and pinned in the comment section follow the link and it leads you straight to the channel just go and support me please for those of you who like me who, who badu me who fancies me who just feel like okay let me support her because i just like the way she just does please 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 edge your biko work thank you and moving on guys let me just you guys what really happened yesterday after the whole saga in fact this video is a continuation of yesterday's video if you have not watched my yesterday's video please just go and watch that one before you come back and watch this one so that you will understand the whole gist so yesterday after erica and kid wire did what they did i told you guys that guys that erica from nowhere when they were even when Eri, um, prince and trickety were just trying to settle the both of them or trying to talk to the both of them erica that was so so pissed all of a sudden held uh, held kid wire's hands and that was how they settled just like that no apology nothing and then i'm like you keep complaining of this guy not giving you respect this guy not doing this this guy not doing that you can't even stand your grounds for common apology you felt that he is flirting with a girl or he's flirting with girls and you need an apology you cannot even stand your grounds for it and he just knows how weak you actually are so with a conversation that she had today with tolani badge she actually told tolani badge that she confronted nengi today um, calm down he still didn't want to say i'm sorry but he's a promise to not do it again did you speak to Nengi? Well, I thought that too, yeah. I'm sure you heard that your name being mentioned in our argument, but you know, I have a problem with you. I have a problem with his actions. His actions were disrespectful. If, if I have a problem with you, I'll tell you. I hope to you. And I am like, Erika, stop this confrontation. It is not going to do you any good. You already had two strikes because of Kid Wire. Why don't you stop? Chew. Babe, you come for 85 million naira, no before Kid Wire. I don't understand why you're beginning to misplace your priority. You're beginning to make us feel like, okay, you came for Kid Wire and not for 85 million naira. Because everything you get involved, every issue is always connected to Kid Wire or the other. And then Tolani Baj was telling her that yesterday, after the whole of that saga happened, that Ozo was in inquisitive to know what she was talking to her about because also had this impression also actually found kid wire and nengi zip down in the toilet so he's trying to i feel like he's trying to find out if it is connected like for him to join one and two together to know that if it's the same thing he's worried about is what um, erica is worried about and tolani badge according to her said she actually did not want to tell us and she told us to ask erica if there is the, if she wants to tell her Tell him, then she will tell him. Did you tell Ozo what happened? Yeah. yeah. I said, can you just tell me? I said, bro, he tried so hard to get. I said, no, if she does not tell you shit, I'm not, it's not for my own mouth. Like then Tolani Badge also went ahead to tell Erica, or Erica and Tolani Badge were just discussing, saying how much Nengi is more exposed than Ozo, like she's too exposed for Ozo. Why are you being like something? I don't know, he's not, he's so soft, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say he's so soft. Maybe him, Nengi is just too exposed for him. 
No, him. I'm talking about him. Nandis has some good issues, but him, like, no. yeah. I'm sure he can't handle it. I don't think he can handle it. And I totally agree with that. Not really the word exposed, but I feel like Nengi is just too much for Ozo at this very point. Ozo is a very calm and collective person. But Nengi is the kind of person that I think she she will suit more with Kidwire or the rest. I don't understand because at this very point the whole house is actually feeling like they have a thing together. And then while they were still having that conversation, Kidwire came and they were talking about it and um, Tolani Badge was telling Kidwire, putting it to Kidwire that I feel you like you are, you have feelings for someone else in this house. And then when she wanted to get up and leave, Erica was like, no, sit down, let us talk about this thing, let us tell him this thing, you know. And then Kidwire was like, so who do you think I have a thing for you guys? And Tolani Badge was telling him that she feels he has a thing for Nengi. They're also somebody that I feel like you're also very much attracted to. And even if you don't see it like that, the alcohol shows it. And if you are, just say it's not a big thing. Say it and then I'll walk away. This is where I know out. See, Erica was like, if you feel you have um, a feeling for Nengi, just tell me and I'm going to walk away. I don't want to be in some sort of triangle. See it like that, the alcohol shows it. And if you are, just say it's not a big thing. Say it and then I'll walk away. And guys, let me tell you the truth. That thing that she just said is a big fat lie. Even if Kidwire comes out to say that she he actually likes Nengi or it's a sort of triangle, I don't see um, Erica to be that kind of a person that can walk out of that relationship. Because at this very point, someone that can't even stand being angry at the guy just so that she gets the respect or she gets the validation she wants, I don't think it's actually going to happen. And let's see, let's even talk about this whole thing. I thought Kidwire and Erica. Erica said they are friends, and Kidwire also confirmed that they are just friends, maybe friends with benefits. So why all the commitment? Why is she trying to force him into commitment, or why is she trying to blackmail him into being committed? Because at the end of the day, the last I remembered, they both told the booker that they are just friends, and K Erica. Keep, last Sunday, Erica confirmed it again to Biggie that they are just friends, not like she's in love with um, Kidwire. And I'm like, so what is all this drama? What is all this dragging? Why are you wanting what a friend should not be asking for? Because you're asking for loyalty. You're asking for to, to be treated specially. You're asking, that is not the kind of things friends like you claim you guys are should be asking for because this thing should be coming these benefits are for girlfriends or people you're in a relationship with and not someone that you feel you are just friends with so what are your thoughts about this is it just me that is saying it this way or it's it's there something not adding up because erica said she is not in love with kid wires kid wires just are friends okay yeah they are friends with benefit but you guys have not defined what you want so why the whole jealousy attitude why the whole um commitment why the whole stop flirting this guy told you that he is a flirt from the one deal with it first of all you have to accept that he's a flirt then you try to want to see if he can change because you definitely cannot change anybody who is not willing to change and then kid wire categorically told her like you guys said that he cannot change in fact let me play it for you guys now he said he cannot change that that is who he is it will take time and that time is when you when you be with a guy for 10 years or eight years or seven years and you put in time with this guy you've changed that person you can say i've changed him you can't expect me just to change because that's where you want to be I, I i don't know how to 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 be the way you want me to. so that's just basically it guys i just felt like i should go and tell you guys that your favorite girl is at it again confronting a housemate because of a man and then if anything happens and maybe there's a sort of, sort of confrontation and then the game can't happen she's already on two strikes i just hope she just faces the game strictly and just bear whatever it is that she is bearing with a um, kid wire or she walks away so that's just it guys i hope you enjoyed this video please leave your thoughts in the comment section i really love to hear give this video a thumbs up and please go to my other channel and subscribe please 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 i'm begging you get your girl to 1000 subscribers thank you so very much for watching i'll most definitely see you guys in my next video bye guys